everybody. Welcome to Make Along Monday. Um, I've got several things I'm making along with uh, people. One of the things is that uh, Bod had a palooza. I didn't. I didn't do a Monday Make Along last Monday, so I didn't show you last week's hat. So last week's hat was um, was the Rain Must Fall beanie, and this did not fit me. It just doesn't fit. It's very tight. It doesn't fit. It's made from the bottom up. I don't know what anything to do with it. I used a bigger hook than um, Crystal did because normally Crystal's hats, uh, when I do them, it's smaller. And um, I have to, because I tight, I crochet tight. So I use a bigger hook. And even with the bigger hook, I use a J. No, I used a K hook with this. And it's still That was one hat. Last week's hat, after that, I guess well, this week is going to be tomorrow. The new hat's coming out tomorrow. This one was a um, jazzy pink. It was called Jazzy Pink Beanie. I made it out of um, kind of a lavender color. And this was a lot of puffs. Started the whole top of these puffs. And then it was back posts and <laughs> crochets. And this one does fit, and this was uh, took a little longer to make, but I did. I just added a couple of more uh, rows. Of well, I added a added a row of double crochets, so single crochet, and then a row of double crochet on the end to make it just a little longer. Right there, right? So that was the second half. Tomorrow, watch Laura and Mimi's crochet and farming for for tomorrow's. Uh, hat of the week. Okay, next thing. Um, Sophie's. As you know, a lot of us are doing the Sophie's. I am on week round. I'm on round 32. Starting round 32. Last time I showed you, I think I was just finished. I was just starting part four. It's round 20. Just starting row um, round 26 the last time I showed it to you. It was probably just, it was just coming into a square. Round 26 started making, went from a round to a square. So I didn't think about this much on it. So this is how it's looking so far. Doing it all one paw because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, and I'm using the anti, uh, anti pilling, premier anti pilling. Everyday worsted. Or what, yeah, everyday worsted. This is uh, quiet blue. I'm just starting my uh, third skein on it so far. So that's how that's going along. And I am enjoying doing this. Even though sometimes it's scary. But I, it, it, you can do it. You can do it. Um, if I get confused, I can just go to the. Um, Video they had to have a nuts over squares. Yeah, oh, what is this? Nuts about squares. Um, I'll link her below. She's got a tutorial, and she for the Sophie's. So that helps when you, you get a little stuck. And then of course there's Zoom and. Um, Carrie, uh, the Arnie Elephant, who started all this, um, has a uh, Facebook also page. So if you have any questions, you can just reach out to one of them. Sophie's done. Look at the draw seven. That was the next one. I got really, uh, I got an idea from Lynn Como. I'm doing what she did last year, and that's a tote, from the Mosaics Brick Tote from Loops and Love Crochet. I'll link that below also. This was, this is going to be really easy. Um, actually, um, Anita was the one that found it last year when they did, er, Laura was doing a um, copycat collab and um, each month somebody, she, she would copy 
to pick somebody to do something. Tanita had Nita had um her pick was the um mosaic bridge talk and her both her and Laura made it and it was really pretty. It was really easy. They said it was really easy. Lynn did it last year for luck of the draw. I thought that was a great idea because it doesn't take too long. Um, but once you get your uh, base done, then it's just two rows of single crochet, two rows of single crochet every week. Owns, it's only like 108 uh, stitches around. So I'm really, this is really going to be an easy, um, easy make. So I'm used to using for acrylic yarn for, for weight. Um, Red Heart Super Saver, this is Patty Green, and yellow is just flat. So this is going to be really enjoyable to do. And you can do two of them because and I think after 10 weeks, it's big enough, you know, tall enough, unless you want a really tall, tall bag and keep going. But I'm going to stop at 10, week 10 like um, Lynn did and make another bag. Maybe I'll use a different base color, but, you know, use the same colors as she, as she draws. So. 20 weeks and I'll get two bags out of it. So I'm looking forward to that also. So we'll do that every week. Um, and the other thing I did, I didn't think I was going to do it, but I decided to do it, is the Expression Fiber Arts Mystery Cow. It's uh, multi balance, it's called. And that is living in here. I am using. Calls for 10 colors. I think I'm just going to use one. And I had this one and I had this one. I think I'm just going to use this yarn B. Um, it's one weight, a little thinner than what I guess they're using this for weight or two weight. But I mean, mine's going to be smaller. Um, Ivy League, Rainbow Rhapsody, Ivy League. So that's what I'm making. And this is what it looks like. Part one, it's kind of smaller than everybody else's. But Continue on with the same yarn, and because uh, it goes from light to dark, and I think it'll be all right. I don't know what it's going to be yet. It's a mystery. So. Part two should be coming out sometime soon, February. So that's that. Now, the last one. The last one I was going to do, I was going to do. Um, because I I had too much to do. I didn't think I would do a jaded stitches cow this week. Calendar Cal this year because I had all this other stuff to do. Now, two years ago, I had a make nine. Everybody was doing make nines. You pick nine patterns that you want to make for the year. And I picked nine, not specific patterns, but nine different things that I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to do something in fillet crochet. I wanted to do a doily in thread. I wanted to do a, a poncho. I wanted to do something in willow squares. Um, I wanted to do an AMI, I wanted to do a Grafgan, I wanted to do something in Tunisian, something in um, a sweater, a wearable, and I wanted to do something in mosaic. And I did all of them. I managed to do all of them except the Grafgan. That was the only thing I didn't get to do. And I didn't do it last year either. <laughs> I never did do it in Grafgan last year either. So I went to Jaden Stitches. Um, thinking that I probably won't do it this year, whatever she's having, but I'll check it out and see what she's doing anyway. Guess what she's doing? A graph can. Oh, I want to do a graph can. She's doing, um, it's called Fair Isle Style or something, and it's six blocks. And it's just the two colors, the main color and the color of the design. So you'd have six bobbins dangling from your blanket. I don't know. I didn't have so much to do if I wasn't doing soldiers or something, probably would try it. But then I decided there's, there's 20 stitches each block. So I thought, why don't I just do a block? I'll just do a block. That will give me practice on doing a graph can, and I'll give me, I'll do it, I'll do it in cotton, and I'll get a washcloth on the back. So that's what I'm doing. So January was, um, a snowflake. So that was January. So I just used uh, kitchen cotton, cotton and sugar and cream or peaches and cream or whatever. 
Katniss. And February was a heart. Of course. So if I want a really big, uh, nice big washcloth, I don't know how it makes, just might attach four of them and, and do a nice big wash thing. So, you know, any possibilities. So anyways, I have, uh, I'm going to just, I'm just going to do the square. One square month. Simon Graph Gans. And um, yeah, this is what I'm using. This is my main color, is the called Ecru. Peaches and Cream. And it's going to be March, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be something in green. It's probably a shamrock or something, so I already got my, already got my green picked up for next month. So that's what I'm working on for. I'm using a No, I'm using five foot. Those are my make-alongs for ketchup make-alongs. I didn't say what hook I'm using for this. For my um, expression fiber arts multi-balance, I'm using a G, is that a G hook? Yes, a G hook, four, four millimeter. So that's it. That is all I'm doing for this one, ketchup. I'm also doing, of course, the tile of the week, but that's Thursdays. That's done. That's all ready to go. I just got to try and do a, a ketchup tile, which ketchup tile that I was going to do is not very, yeah, go back and look at uh, Mantha Makes tile number 10, was it? Crisscross. I've already, I'm going to, I have to frog it. I'm going to try it. I might try it one more time. I've got an idea. You've got to, you've got to keep turning and working into chain one spaces. And I think I showed you last week. This is what it's supposed to look like. It was, it was, I couldn't, they need to finish it because, you know, she said don't, uh, she warned me about it. So I might skip it. But I'm going to put stitch markers in all the chain one spaces and try it that way and see if I can do it. I know it's going to be awful and I'm not looking forward to doing it. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. That's all I've got for you today. I guess that's enough. Um, hello to my new subscribers. Thanks for joining me. I'm up 300 now. And I I didn't even want to do a channel. No, I'm 300 already. So thank you for coming and subscribing. And I'll catch you probably on Thursday. I'll see you Thursday for time of the week. Bye.